What is up, YouTube? This is Zach, Sam, and Grayson's hanging out somewhere back in there. We are going to be unboxing the thin line ALR screen from Dragonfly. This is a 120 inch thin bezel frame. Um, and it does have ambient light rejecting technology. And we're going to be installing an LED kit on that as well. LEDs, we know you guys like those. So what we're gonna be doing is getting it all pulled out of the box. I'll show you what's included and then we'll show you uh, once it's assembled as well as a quick little demo of the video quality once we get it up on the wall. This is a new product and uh, I'm excited to see how it performs. Me too. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, this is the exact model here. This is the DFTB120 ALR. Go ahead, Sam, let's get this going. All right. Hardware kit. Uh, yeah, what was it that you were needing? Screen material. Good it's old. It's just uh, 149 uh, per hour. I charged a $99 upcharge for masonry. Um, and uh, <laughs> 149 for two guys. Probably take an hour to do. Let's go ahead and see what the frame looks like, shall we? You want it on like one of the posts down there? say that the build quality of the product so far is uh, right up par with SI. Mm -hmm. so, it's a nice pro quality more, product. A little bit yeah. more affordable. A little bit more affordable. Um, so we're moving right along. Let's take a look at what's included inside of the packaging. So we got some little hooks. This will help you whenever you're um, pulling it uh, and tensioning the screen fabric. Uh, just saves your fingers. And then we have extra Little uh, springs included. Mounting brackets. mounting brackets for mounting it. And these are the elbows with the screws included. This is for the edge of the screen. And uh, here's the hooks where the screen's going to hang. And screws are included. Unknown brackets. Which ones are they? Black spring bezels. These are the brackets for the thin bezel frame. It's for the center uh, to hold the, the middle part of it together. Mm -hmm. And also some magnets. We're not exactly sure what these are for yet, but we will show you guys once we get this uh, further along in the installation process. All right, so when you're putting in your angle on the side, make sure you pay close attention. There is a larger L bracket and a smaller L bracket. You can see the uh, larger one. All in there. So the larger one goes closer to the outside, smaller one closer to the inside. Yeah, so you guys can see on this one right here um, exactly how it works. And they include Phillips screws, which I really like. You want to make sure whenever you're putting this in, guys, that it's completely square on the edges. All right, so we just opened the screen fabric and we found this little care package in there. It's got a plastic tarp to set down. That way you're not getting anything on the front of your screen while you're assembling. White gloves for two, so it's got two pairs, four gloves total. So two people can uh, assemble a screen without getting fingerprints or anything smudgy on it. As well as a uh, microfiber cloth to clean off anything that does happen to get on it. Pretty cool, nice of them to send. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, it said 
good. Okay. First thing we're going to do is line up all the springs with the holes in the fabric. That'll make uh, assembling them go a lot faster. All right. Now that we got the uh, springs all laid out, we're going to start on opposite corners and just get the corners done, and then we'll start from the middle of the long piece. Corners in first, making sure that it's evenly stretched all the way around. This is extremely important, guys. You don't want to, you know, be all willy-nilly loose with it, and then you get to the end and they don't line up straight. We've been there, done that. Take it uh, as a word of advice. Now we're going to start on the center and work our way out and work all the way around. Hey guys, check it out. These are instructions. Do not be afraid to read the instructions. It does not make you less of a man. It just makes you get the job done more quickly and efficiently and correctly. <laughs> Stop Why do it once when you can do it three times? <laughs> <laughs> instructions? We recommend using them. Absolutely. Instructions? <laughs> Sam. Sam instructions. <laughs> Don't be stupid like we have many, many, many times. Just read the directions. <laughs> we are attaching the center brace to the frame using these sliding nuts as the instructions refer to them as. And uh, just kind of bracing the center of the screen, preventing dippage. Okay, so next step is to take the bezel, the velvet side, going out. And uh, you use the short side to go up underneath, giving it its... Uh, Almost zero bezel look. Thin line. Thin line. Now we're going to line up the corners. Now, the difference between this and some other screens is that this will not snap in place. Instead, you use the sliding nuts and these mounting brackets. Basically, tension it on to the very edge, screw it in, and that'll keep it solid to the frame. Yeah, if you're familiar, if you're uh, interested in like what's going on here, mm -hmm. go look us up on YouTube. I don't know that old, that kind of Dream good. Media. Mm -hmm. We have like 300 videos on there. Oh really? Yeah. All the installations. Mm -hmm. Some reviews, some unboxing. Yeah, we do yeah. this every day. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised I didn't tell you about it whenever you scheduled. You must have been like a friend or something. Yeah. I Dream Media was probably die. Alrighty, so this is the finished product, guys. You can see we have all of our tabs nice and tight all the way around. We got that thin bezel look. Let's take a look at the front. Yeah, this got is that really side. nice. Yeah. So very, side. very nice. Check it out. All right, guys. Well, the, the, uh, the boys did a great job of getting this assembled. It's looking really good. Everything's nice and tight and done per spec. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this mounted to the wall, and we'll show you guys a demo when it's all set up. This is the unboxing and assembly and demo video for the Dragonfly Thin Line ALR screen. This is an example of some ultra high def content playing off the DirecTV. We didn't have any uh, 4K uh, player other than the DirecTV box to show you guys, but this does give you an idea of the image quality that you can get out of the Dragonfly Thin Line ALR screen matched with the Epson 6050. Yeah, turn the lights on, on the sconces. You'll see, even with the sconces on, it's not horrible. If you had a standard uh, white screen, nothing. You wouldn't be able to see anything. And what I would do is put a little dimmer on it um, so that you could dim it down, but you can see it's still a, oh, you got a dimmer, cool. So yeah, you can, look at how nice the image is. And you, and you have the lights on. Um, you couldn't get that if you didn't have the ALR ambient light projecting technology. Sunday. Which has been one of the biggest game changers in uh, projection. Uh, this, they started doing this probably about five, six years ago. But it's pretty cool. Did uh, we get the lights? Were they able to integrate or not? These lights? LEDs? Oh, those LEDs? Yes, they, they did. Better than the. SI. No way! Uh, they actually turn on and off with the proper on and off. And Can you show me? But these take this better, so. Check it out guys. We uh, custom installed this LED kit for the customer on this thin line uh, frame and 
It turned out sweet. Other competitor to the screen the LED kit that comes with it doesn't work so well with the Harmony. Let me see. So yeah, so you can come in right here, guys, uh, to the Harmony remote. We programmed it in for the customer to where you can change your color just like that to different coloring. And it actually works really well. Check it out. Looking good. Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed the video of the unboxing, assembly, and installation as well as my demo of this 120 inch ALR screen from Dragonfly. Everything turned out really clean. I am very satisfied with the image quality that this screen does produce. If you'd like to purchase this product, we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. If you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.